Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and this is Anubis and welcome to today's video. This boy will never leave me alone. You see him throughout my Instagram posts, you see him in all the videos. He is an obsessive little mama's boy but he wanted to sit in my lap today, so here he is. But today we're doing other unfiltered opinions on new makeup releases. I'm gonna talk about some new stuff coming out in the makeup space. Give my first thoughts on it, let you know what I'm feeling, what I'm not feeling. It's a lot of what I'm not feeling if we're talking, <laughs> like, honestly right now. It's, it's a lot of stuff that I just don't need. But anyways, we're gonna go through it. Without any further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so first things first. This first thing is from ELF Cosmetics. ELF Cosmetics has been coming out with more stuff lately. So this is their Electric Mood Collection in collaboration with people's names. I don't know how to pronounce so I'm not going to like sit here and screw it up. Put the cat tail on me. But this is their Electric Mood Collection in collaboration with like three musical artists. So... Uh, so there's something that's intriguing about the really silver chrome packaging one of these three like different collections here for the electric mood collection something about it is intriguing because i really like silver and stuff but it doesn't seem revolutionary the other things like the purple palette like it looks like a face palette so like mm, not colors that would work on me personally and then the eyeshadow palette is just another neutral palette with a pop of blue and one yellow shade too so uh, it doesn't really speak to me and i don't know who these artists are so i mean if you do cool if you listen to them cool let me know if they're good or not but it's not, none of these things call to me. Like, now people know if like Gwen Stefani came with makeup or something, I'd buy it all day long. But I like to think in the majority of things, I'm not going to buy something just because there's a famous person attached to it. There's always exceptions, you know, because everyone has like their people <laughs> that they're obsessed with. But it's, I, for overall, I want to look at something and say I would use this regardless of whether or not it's attached to a person or not. Next up is from Colourpop, because you know Colourpop always released 100 things. I haven't even got around to reviewing the new Hello Kitty little quads, because I got the yellow one and it's super pretty. I haven't got around to reviewing those yet, but let me know if you still want to see that video down below. I don't know if people even want to watch that, but this is the new Lush Life Collection, and this is so pretty. <laughs> it's so pretty. I don't know. So they have more cheek dudes coming out this collection. Their cheek dudes are like a serum blush they're very good really easy to blend out if you guys haven't tried them they keep selling out they're really good they're coming out with three more for this collection as well as three cream liners which are a hit or a miss and some luxe lip glosses but i could do without those the palette though the star of the collection the palette the 12 pan eyeshadow palette for 18 dollars is really pretty like this has that pop of lime green which i really like has some neutral kind of yellowy shades that are very light in here too and then you have like more of the red tones and a pop of orange and blue in here. Like it's a really good mix. The blues and greens obviously grab the most people's like attention when it comes to this palette. However, I think with like the champagne -y, yellowy shades and then those bright orangey red tones, that would make a really gorgeous look on its own. And I think you could also wear like some of these mattes as neutrally kind of moments too. Just a little bit of color shimmer on the lid. So it's not like in your face all the time. Because I think people see this palette and they're like, whoa, that's a lot. But I think there's ways to downplay these colors too. They have certain pops that make you draw your eye. But like this to me looks very versatile and very pretty. And I'm a sucker for a really pretty green. Now I'm not saying I'm the most cleanliness person in the world. Never used a dirty makeup brush in my life kind of person. I'm not saying that, okay? I'm not saying that. But I thought we were past this point in the makeup space and maybe we're not. Maybe one day I'll find a product that's like this and I'll love it and not care that it's like a haven for bacteria. But right now I'm just thinking about the haven bacteria. A couple of you guys tagged me in this. This is the Maybelline Perfector 4-in-1 Glow Makeup thing. It is a primer, concealer, highlighter, and something else that I can't read. Corrector, illuminator, something. First of all, I don't know the last time I used a Maybelline product. It's been years. This is $12.99, but this is their 4-in-1 Ancient or Instant Re-Perfect 4-in-1 Glow Makeup. It's just, the thing that I just scream in my mind about this is the bacteria, because it has one of those poofy things. Now, I know their concealer with those little poofy ball things that the, sque pro the product squeezes out of. Like, people love that concealer still and stuff. But to me, it's 2021. Um, there's a panorama outside and y'all are still using products that just harbor bacteria. You can't clean the little foamy ball thing at the top. Now I have a concealer that I like that has like a little brush tip on it that squeeze the concealer out of the brush tip. To me that seems cleaner because it's a sleek plastic thing it comes out of rather than this poofy ball thing. I just feel like you're going to put that on your face and it's going to harbor bacteria. Am I crazy? Maybe. Is this crazy? 
Kind of, you know? I mean, I feel like it's their thing. They've done it forever. But eventually, you have to evolve a little bit and get past that thing you can't clean, you know? If you disagree with me, please let me know down below, though, because, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one that's thinking that because all the comments are like, oh, my God, I need, you know? And I'm not thinking that at all. So next up, another thing I was tagged in. I didn't know who this person was, um, but I was informed it's a singer. So it's another celebrity makeup brand. Woo! Yay! <laughs> but this is Tres... Luce, I, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. It's the I Am palette from Becky G. So it's cruelty free and vegan, which is awesome. It's from $8 to $30, so it's in a middle price range, I'd say. This just to me says, why do we need another celebrity makeup brand? And then the color scheme of the palette, which is like the main star of the palette, the artwork on the front is very pretty. The color scheme just is so random. Like a lot of the palette colors are pops of color. There's like five or six really neutral shades in here too but the only promo look she's wearing is like a super neutral very you know there's one that has a little bit of blue in it but it's, it's still very subtle eye makeups and stuff for all these bold colors in this palette and then you see these collection of lashes they do kind of look like the lashes you know she's wearing in all her promo pictures because they're there but they're not like dramatic you know and then there's a whole line of I think these are eye pencils they're color eye pencils gel island pencils and they're 15 shades of them to me i really like the colors of the eyeliner pencils i really like the packaging too i think it's very sleek i could do without the blue but it's okay but she's just doing neutral looks in these promos and like one with a little bit of blue in it and i just don't understand why like it's a super colorful palette and like really bright blue packaging and then like super fun colorful eyelid pen eye eyeliner gel pencils for your waterline that just don't show up and the aesthetics of everything she's showing. So I don't know if that's like her staple look, but that doesn't really screen to me as why this is our first palette launch too. I don't, I don't know. To me, it just seems random. And if I take away the person and the promo pictures, I just look at the palette. It doesn't say cohesive to me. It just, I don't know. It feels like a lot. And if you took away the texture on the palette shades, this would look like a really bizarre palette, I think. Cause I feel like people are distracted by the cool patterns etched into the shadows on the pans. If you took that away, I feel like people would be like, what is this? Now a brand that is boring and knows it and doesn't care and actually stays relatively, you know, where people think it is, and that's okay, is Tarte. So this is the new Tarte lip palette, the Juicy palette. This is 12 Juicy Rosy Blonde Neutral Lid Line and Crease Shades. Looks like a smaller version of the big palette. It is $39. So it's kind of pricey for this small little palette, but it is Tarte prices and Tarte eyeshadows smell really good. They have like a vanilla scent to them. They smell amazing and I don't even like vanilla scents typically, but this Juicy palette is very pretty. If you're looking for something neutral, but a little bit of the rosy side, a little bit on pink side, a little bit on the champagne side, this stuff I feel like it really fits that billing. It's not something I need in my collection, but I do enjoy the quality of Tarte's eyeshadows. They're nothing miraculous, spectacular, but they get the job done. They're really easy to blend. So I think it's a little pricey. I'd probably wait till like the 21 Days of Beauty on Ulta's site if I needed this in my life to see it was on that sale because a lot of these palettes usually are. The Tarte palettes usually go on sale. But if this thing was like $21, I could totally see it because they do really have really good matte quality and I love the way they smell. But I'm not someone who wears pinks all the time. It's something I need. Next up is from Morphe. And we all know that I'm not buying anything from Morphe until I can stop going to Ulta and see James Charles' face, okay? And once his face is off their website and they make a push to get rid of him, then I'll consider buying from Morphe again. I'm just not doing it until that's done. But this is the Morphe New Tinted Moisturizer. Now, the original foundation had terrible reviews. And then I bought their new foundation a couple months ago. That was supposed to be, like, fantastic. I really didn't care for it. But this is, like, their third iteration of foundation. It's a tinted moisturizer. So this comes in 15 shades. It is $18. has a hydrating uh, skin perfecting glow and SPF 30 protection, which is a good SPF. I think that's, like, the recommended SPF you're supposed to have in your foundation or underneath your foundation. I think the 15 shades look pretty good too from the mix of colors. I will just say, I don't know how many times Morphe is going to do foundation and get it wrong. So if this is like the third time they do it wrong, I mean like, just let it go Morphe. I mean it's $18, definitely worth giving a shot, especially if you want to wear it underneath of a foundation because it is a little bit of glow, a little bit of sunscreen, you can wear it as your primer. It comes out July 11th, so it's not out yet, but I am not going to buy it because again, not buying them for them for a while. Okay, so Dose of Colors is one of the brands that has done collaboration with Disney before. A lot of brands have done collaborations with Disney, but they did a Mickey Mouse collab, but it was super cute. And now they have a new Disney collaboration with Donald and Daisy Duck. So this is a special edition, so it's a limited edition collection. 
and it is super cute. Is it dumb? Yeah, but who cares? I just think it's adorable. Just the colors has a really good quality too. I've never been disappointed in anything of theirs. Other than their eyeliner pencil, I prefer if it was creamy rather than the regular pencil, but it still works. But the eyeshadow palette, bronzer palette is $39. Their lip lashes are $15. The lipstick is $18. Lip gloss, $17. Lip liner, $14. Full collection for $103. That's a lot of money. I don't think this is anything I need. The lashes are really light for me. I don't wear lip gloss. Lip liner looks boring. And the lipstick is a velvet mousse. I want more of a matte. But the palette itself, I mean, it is really precious. And I think the colors make total sense for these characters. I think the color scheme on the palette not being like a bright, intense color, being more of a neutral that kind of matches the color scheme and how the characters look on the box makes a ton of sense. And it just looks really pretty. Like if you're a Disney collector, I think this would be a great option for you. I don't think it's anything we need. But it is really cute. Like, it's really cute and well done. It's classy, not overbearingly cutesy. Y'all, our hourglass is like the most. It's like super fancy and it does the most. So this is a sneak peek of something coming from Hourglass Cosmetics. Is their new single eyeshadow palettes and palettes you can create with like singles you put in your own little palette thing. This is weird to me, you guys. Because first of all, your single eyeshadow comes in like a whole little case. Like, it's bigger than what your SD card comes in to hold the thing. It is... Like a little eyeshadow with a weird H in the corner of the pan, not even a regular square pan, because you really have to advertise that your single eyeshadow is hourglass. You can't just like, you know, have the name of the shadow on the back of every pan like everyone else does. You have like a little indention to advertise that it's hourglass. It's weird to me. Um, the single eyeshadow container seems pretty wasteful to me too, and most of them just come in a clear, you know, little thing you put in a palette and you're done. It's odd. It's odd. I just think it's weird. Let me know what you think down below. Do you like it? Do you think it's classy? You have a little H on the inside of your shadow? Because to me, it makes your eyeshadow not a square anymore. It makes it this really weird shape. And then who cares if you're wearing a single eyeshadow that's hourglass? Like, are you doing your makeup for an audience that you need to like, I'm sorry, this single shadow is not ColourPop. This is like an hourglass single. Sh it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. So next up, I have had a lot of like not great like opinions of Laura Lee in the past um especially for like her personality does not mess with mine she just seems like a lot and it's intense and I just don't I don't find that real um but I feel like she's matured over the last year or so so let's talk about her stuff so this is our new collection this is their new Candy Skies collection it's a $45 eyeshadow palette, two glosses that are $16 each or $24 for the bundle. So that's a pretty good price for the bundle. I really think this Candy Skies palette is very pretty. This is a collaboration with Erin Weaver, who I think she's related to. I don't know. I don't I don't know. I don't follow her like that. But it's really preciously cute. Like the mint colors here are so pretty. The pinks and everything, they really pop. And the swatches of these look really nice. I can't tell if they're real swatches or not because that mint one does look a little... I don't know, it looks a little full for being a mint shade. Mint shades usually are a little lighter when you swatch them. But the swatches look really pretty. The eyeshadow shades are really pretty. The Candy Skies packaging on the front with a big bubbly font and the light like packaging is really pretty too. And I also like a white matte shade in here. Really easy to blend colors out with. I just think this is really pretty. Like I'm really shocked with this. I do not care for the packaging on the lip glosses. That's me just bleh. But it's cute. It's cute. It's cute. Like, I, I think Laura's changed in the last year or two, and it kind of reflects. Like, she's doing things lately that don't look as, like, uh, bold. You know, she's usually, like, anytime I would click on her video, it's, like, in my face with all this energy that doesn't, like, it scares me. But I think she's calmed down a little bit. It gets more mature, and I think her collections lately have been better than ever. Anyways, you guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and talking about makeup -y stuff. I feel like the beauty space is kind of dead lately, you know? And I'm just trying to, like, keep it going, you know? I want to change my content a little bit, make it a little more other than just, like, makeup products on my face and stuff. But let me know what you guys want to see. I do want to keep makeup the base of my stuff because it's what I like to do. It feels like my job. Um, but, like, a little more here and there, like, extra lifestyle stuff, maybe content like that. Let me know what you want to see. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to check my brand, The Open Crypt, at The Open Crypt on Instagram and TheOpenCrypt.com. I just launched the cutest things in the world. I have some wax melts. So if you have a wax melter in your house that just, like, releases candle fragrance, it's also safer than candles because you don't have to watch the flame. We have five horrific <laughs> scents and they're inspired by classic movies and stuff and I just think they're so perfect and I worked on them all week. That's why my content this week has been a little bit slower. It's just I've been working on that so much and I also restocked our ghost candles. So check them out if you haven't down below and I will see you in the next video guys. Have a great and safety out there wherever you are. Bye.